town meetings and events, departmental updates, and COVID-19 here in York County and Berwick. BCTV News will be shown daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Comcast channels 95 and 22, as well as streaming at www.proactv.org. It will also be available on demand and via our YouTube channel. On Wednesday, October 28th, the Berwick Fire Department moved into the new station. Due to COVID-19 and the recent increases in cases, the fire department is continuing to follow all safety protocols, and this means they will be unable at this time to hold an open house. However, BCTV will be doing a virtual tour of the facility this next week. This year, Halloween has looked and felt very different from past years. The typical Berwick Halloween costume contest and trunk and treat were put on hold due to the pandemic. Berwick residents were asked to skip trick-or-treating this year in favor of smaller gatherings or online activities. The Berwick Recreation Committee hosted an online costume contest. The following were the winners in this contest. For the ages of 0 to 2, Best character was Jackson with The Incredibles. Most creative was Raylan with a witch. Wild Thing was Junie as a snail. And the cutest was Carrie as Pebbles. Ages three to six, Garius was Hallie and Haven as witches. The cutest was Elijah as a firefighter. And the wild thing was Mason as a lion. Ages 7 to 10. Best character was Alice, the Mad Hatter. The scariest was Mason as a skeleton. The most creative was Xavi as Momo. And the cutest was Lily in Toy Story 80's Workout Barbie. The scariest for ages 11 to 14 was Angelina which was in IT. The best age, 15 plus, was Steampunk. And the best group was with Sandra Webber Packard, and that was Mario and Friends. Best pets. Most creative was Maureen Nikitas as S'mores. The cutest was Farmer Dog by Jennifer Lenz. And the best character was from Jody McKenzie, Yoda as the lizard. 
It is fall, and everyone is buttoning down the hatches for cold weather. Efficiency Maine offers resources on calculating your home's energy efficiency, comparing heating and water options, lighting, along with savings on weatherization and even air purifiers. Visit www.efficiencymaine.com to find out more. Efficiency Maine is a trust that primarily delivers financial incentives on the purchase of high efficiency equipment or changes to operations that help customers save electricity, natural gas, and other fuels throughout the Maine economy. COVID-19 this week in York County, as of October 31st, stands at 1,435 cases with 1,276 confirmed and 159 probable. There have been 1,244 recoveries with 106 hospitalizations and 21 people have died. Berwick cases rose to 36 cumulative, probable, and confirmed cases. ECTV News is a recap of meetings, events, and town happenings. If you have a news item that you think we should cover, send your request to bctv at berwickmaine.org. BCTV is completely funded through franchise fees from Comcast. We are a nonprofit entity and we are bound by the rules established for public access stations by the FCC. Berwick residents who subscribe to Comcast may watch our public educational videos on Channel 22 and our government meetings, departmental and informational videos on Channel 95. Both channels run 24-7 and are streamed at www.berwicktv.org.